this example, we are going to build a, an input output Turing machine that checks well formed string of parentheses. That means, for example, this is a well formed string of parentheses where there are uh, closing brackets corresponding to the opening brackets and they are well formed. And if I can give you one example, something like this, this is not well formed, but this is well formed. Again, you can consider that this is not well formed. This is again not well formed. So the Turing machine is going to take the input of input string with the parenthesis opening and closing brackets and it will check whether the brackets are well formed or not. If it is well formed then it is going to write Y into the tape. If it is not it is going to write N. So the idea is very simple here. We need to search for the closing brackets and if the closing bracket exists then we need to go for searching the opening corresponding opening brackets. That means if this is the case, say we are given this particular string and this is in the tape, we'll start from here. It's the opening bracket, go right. It's the opening bracket, go right. It's the closing bracket. You get a closing bracket, just mark it and then move left, come here. Okay, you get the corresponding opening bracket. So it's well formed until now. So again, move right. You get an X, move right, you get an X, move right, you get an opening bracket, move right, you get a closing bracket here. So just mark it with X, right X here. And now go left for searching opening brackets. We go left and we get the opening bracket here. So we put a mark here. And then again we are moving right for searching of closing brackets. We go right, it's X, we go right, it's X, we go right. We get the closing bracket again. We are putting a mark x here and we are changing the state and coming back to the left. It's x, it's x, it's x, it's x. It's opening bracket, so we put a cross mark here. So again, we will be moving towards right as long as the x's are there or the opening brackets are there. So we were moving towards right. Here we get the opening bracket. We again move right. Here we get the closing bracket. So we are putting an x here and then we are moving left and we get the corresponding opening bracket. Now again we are moving right for search of closing bracket. So no more closing brackets are there. We come here in space. So if we come here in a space that means all these things are done. Now we need to get back to the left and we see that there are no brackets left. So we will be moving towards left again in a new state and if we encounter here if you come here without encountering anything else, then it's done. We are going to write Y. Otherwise, if we encounter additional brackets in between, we are going to write N. So let's see in details. I'm just removing this. So this is the input tape. And we have this opening bracket, opening bracket, closing bracket, opening bracket, closing bracket and this closing bracket and again this one. Okay. And we have something blank space here. And the tape is infinite in either direction as usual. So initially we are here in state Q0. So in state Q0 if we get an opening bracket we should move towards right and we will remain in the same state. So it's going to move towards right. We are coming here and again we are getting opening bracket in Q0. So we are moving right. Again we are moving right. So we are coming here. Now in Q0 we are getting a closing bracket. That means first closing bracket encountered. So we will be changing the state and we will move towards left and we will be changing the state and we will move towards left. So we are changing it to Q1 and we are putting a mark X into the cell because this is uh, red and we have encountered the symbol. We understand that the closing bracket is there. So we are 
just removing rewriting the Turing machine rewrites the cell with x and keeps on moving towards its left by changing the state to q1 so it comes here so in q1 if we get a opening an opening bracket that means the corresponding this is the corresponding opening bracket of the last closing bracket that we encountered so if in q1 we get a, an opening bracket then obviously we should mark it to obviously we should mark it to x and we are again moving to q0 and moving right so here what we do we are marking this with x and we are changing the state to q0 and moving right for search of closing brackets again so here you go so we are now getting x in q0 if you get x in q0 that means you again need to move towards right keeping it in q0 and we don't need to modify the cell at all so we will be moving towards right so we are moving towards right now again what we are getting here is opening bracket in q0 opening bracket in q0 already defined here so it should remain in the same state and it will move right so when it is moving right now it is encountering with the closing bracket here in q0 if we encounter a closing bracket we are rewriting the cell with x we have already defined this here so we are rewriting this with x and the state is changed to q1 and we are starting we start moving towards this left for search of opening brackets the corresponding opening brackets so here we are we are in q1 and in q1 we encounter a, an opening bracket so in q1 if we encounter an opening bracket that is all already defined so we are changing to the cell to x again this is going to be changed to x because the corresponding opening bracket has been discovered so it is x now and we will again go on searching for the closing bracket towards its right by changing the state to q0 so we go to right here in q0 in q0 we get x so we will be moving towards right again as it is already defined and we get a closing bracket in q0 if we get a closing bracket in q0 the thing is again same just rewrite this with x change the state to q1 and move left so we are changing the state to q1 and moving left again in q1 if we get an x obviously it should be defined in q1 if we are getting x we should keep on moving towards left so in q1 when we are getting x we are going towards this left keeping that state same so here also we will be moving left 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 here also we will be moving left in q1 we ultimately come here and we get the corresponding opening bracket so in q1 if you get the opening bracket we should we have already defined it here we should change it to x because we have already encountered the closing bracket so we are changing it to x and again we are changing the state to q0 and moving start moving right for in search of new closing brackets so again this x this x, so q0 will be moving right 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 here and then we come here in q0 ultimately now in q0 we get opening bracket if in q0 you get opening bracket you should keep moving right according to this rule so we are keeping keep moving right we encounter and uh, we encounter an a closing bracket in q0 and in q0 if we get a closing bracket the rule is same we need to just rewrite this with x and we need to keep moving on towards its left by changing the state so in search of corresponding opening bracket so here we are we are in q1 and we get the corresponding opening bracket so what we do we just change this to x and we move right in q0 in search of corresponding uh, in search of closing brackets so we are here in q0 in q0 we get x so we should keep moving on right so here we are in the blank space now so in q0 if you encounter a blank a blank space then what happens we should keep moving left now in search of the blank space on the left hand side so 
the ultimately we came to the blank space in q0 so 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 now we should keep moving left in q0 if we encounter a blank space then we are going towards left keeping the blank space same so here what we do we are just moving left in q2 we are changing the state to q2 now if you are in q2 that means you have encountered a blank space on the right and you are now moving towards left so in q2 if you ultimately come here that means you do not get anything else except x in between so in that case the string is well formed so in q2 after getting space on the right hand side if we get x we should keep moving left by keeping the same thing We should keep moving left by keeping the same thing. Yes, now here it is x, we are moving left. And again, it's x, we will keep moving left here, left here, move left, move left, move left, move left, move left, move left, you come here ultimately. So in Q2, if you come to the black space, then obviously the... So in Q2, if it encounters a black space by traversing towards left, that means the string is well formed and it should write y and it should hold and otherwise if it encounters with any opening bracket while traversing left that means it's not well formed it should write no and it should hold so if the string is something like this say we have something like this here in that case we will start moving towards right that case we will start moving towards right in this way in q0 we get opening bracket we move towards right here we comes uh, we again here we again encounter opening bracket so we move right we come here in q0 we get a closing bracket so this is going to be rewritten with x and we change the state to q1 instead of q0 we go to q1 and move left start moving left in search of opening bracket so we get opening bracket here so we again put it put a x here and change the state to q0 and start moving right so here in q0 we get x we go to right in q0 we move right and we encounter a black black space here now we change the state to uh, if we if in q0 you can see that if we, in q0 we get a black space then we change the state to q2 and start moving left in search of blank space towards left so we will be moving towards left in q2 in q2 it means that we have encountered a blank space on the right and start moving left and in q2 if we come all along towards left and encounter a blank space here that means the string is okay but here what happens in q2 we get an x we move left here we get again x we move left here we encounter an opening bracket so if we encounter an opening bracket in q2 that means the string is not well formed so what we are doing we are writing a no here at that point okay and the machine holds here so the other case of non well formed string could be something like this in q1 if we if we encounter uh, in q1 if we encounter an opening bracket, I mean a space, sorry, then also the machine is going to fault. That's the other case. Now in Q1, we are supposed to get opening bracket and we should put a, a, a cross mark and we should move right. So let us consider this with, a, with an example. Say this is the case we have so this is the example we have this input string and in we start with q0 and q0 in, we are encountering with a closing bracket in q0 if we if we get a closing bracket then the state should be changed to q1 and it should start moving left by changing the symbol to x and in q1 we have encountered a space that's obviously an error so in q1 if we encounter a blank space that's also an error 
also uh, it's writing in and the machine halts so this is the these are the these are the state transition rules and the delta functions for checking whether a input string is uh, well formed with parentheses or not uh, in the next lecture i'm going to provide some more examples thank you